Ramesh Srinivasan, Chemistry Department, IAI. In this video, we will see engineering materials, polymers. So, we will see polymers introduction and its classification under the uh, module engineering materials. Okay, this is um, module 3 under the engineering materials heading. Polymers first, in that introduction of polymers and its classifications. Okay. <clears throat> this is course outcome 4. Compare the different types of polymerization reactions for utilizing in industries. Lubricate, lubricants will come next. Uh, compare different types of polymerization reactions, come a mechanism of lubrication for utilizing in industries. Understand is the Bloom's taxonomy. Okay, introduction. What is polymer? So we write polymer. The word polymer derived from Greek word poly means many, more than uh, two or three, many. Mer means repeating unit or unit, uh, repeating unit or repeating part. The one that uh, repeats throughout the uh, structure. Okay. Unit, repeating unit means unit of part that is repeating unit of part. So, polymers are generally classified under macromolecules because they are formed by the repeated linkage of large number of small molecules. The small molecules are commonly called monomers. Okay. So, monomers undergo polymerization to give polymers. So, polymers are repeated linkage of large number of small molecules. So, we um, say it is a macro molecule, very big, having high, very high molecular weight or high molecular weight than the normal compounds. Okay. Example, polyethylene. It undergo polymerization. See, this is monomer ethylene unit. This is polymer polyethylene. It's also called polythene, polyethylene or polythene. So when we put N here, that means this part, see this part is repeated n times. Okay. n can be any number, 100, 1000, 500, like that. Okay. okay, here polymerization, what we mean by polymer is a reaction means under the reaction condition of heat and or pressure with the catalyst. That, that is what we have written here, polymerization under the condition of heat or pressure with Polymers are very essential materials in our daily life. The polymers are highly useful in uh, domestic, industrial and medical fields. Okay. The following are the reasons for the extensive use of polymers. Okay. They have low density, light in weight. These are very good. These are all the characteristics. Some of the characteristics why we use extensively polymers in industry or domestic or in any other medical field like that. Okay. Transportation easy. They possess high strength, good flexibility, resistant to chemicals. These are all good characteristics that make them highly applicable. They function as good thermal and electrical insulators. They can be molded and fabricated easily. Uh, they can process, they can be processed with, they can be processed with aesthetic colors, aesthetic colors, okay, aesthetic colors. It is also interesting to note that many carbohydrates, enzymes, proteins, DNA and RNA are natural polymers. So, polymers are high molecular weight organic compounds. Basically, it is made up of carbon and hydrogen 
and uh, the bonds are uh, covalent bonds and some other between the chains and in addition to that they have secondary bonds like hydrogen bonding, Van der Waals bond like that. So majorly it is composed of carbon and hydrogen with uh, covalent bonds. So it comes under organic compounds. But there are uh, majority is organic in nature, but there are some few examples which are not organic and inorganic nature is also available. So organic compound in which a large number of simple units uh, repeat themselves in a regular fashion. The simple units are called monomers. So they are a high molecular weight organic compounds in which a large number of simple units repeat themselves in a regular fashion. The simple units are called monomers. Okay, whether all small molecules can be used as a monomer? No. It needs a functionality. Monomer to be used, any compound to be called as a monomer should have functionality. The fun what is functionality? The number of bonding sites or active sites in a molecule is known as its functionality. Okay? The number of bonding sites or active sites, we call it as functionality. Okay? For any compound to be recognized as a true monomer, it should possess at least two functionalities. For example, methanol, CH3OH, even though it has a functional group OH, only one functional group is there. So one functionality. So it is not a true monomer. So we cannot use methanol as a monomer. Next example, ethylene. Ethylene contains double bond. So it has one functional group double bond but two functionalities, okay, which is a true monomer. See, for example, the, we have seen here, ethylene polymerizes to, this double bond becomes single bond, single bond. So the chain continues. So this is having, double bond is considered to have two functionalities. So it is a true monomer. So ethylene is a true monomer, whereas methanol is a not considered as a monomer. Similarly, ethylene glycol, we have two functional groups. So, it, it is having two functionalities, which is a true monomer. Okay. So, either it has two functional group or double bond. Both are considered as monomers because of two functionalities. So, like that, a monomer molecule should have two functionalities minimum to be considered as a monomer for polymerization reactions. Okay, what is meant by polymerization? It's a process in which large number of small molecules called monomers combine to give big molecule called polymer of high molecular weight with or without elimination of small molecules like water or ammonia or other small condensed product, okay, and all other condensation by products. Okay. okay. So, Polymerization is a process in which large number of small molecules called monomers combine to give a big molecule polymer with or without the elimination of small molecules like water, ammonia, etc. Degree of polymerization, Dp. The number of repeating units N, we write polythene, polyethylene like this, right? This N in a polymer chain is known as degree of polymerization. Okay. Degree of polymerization. It is represented by the relationship. Degree of polymerization is called molecular weight of the polymer network by molecular weight of the repeating unit. Molecular weight of polymer normally are described as weight 
molecular weight average molecular weight number average molecular weight they don't have a yeah, particular molecular weight for example benzene 78 like that they don't have a particular molecular weight. they have a range of molecular weight because of its uh, macromolecular structure and heavy molecular weight they cannot be uh, told with a single uh, molecular weight they are range of molecular weights the range can be weight average molecular weight or number average molecular weight so we will do some problems later on this which will explain you in a better fashion so now we move to classification of polymers we have seen introduction to polymers now we move to classification of polymers so in the introduction we have seen what are the terminologies like polymer monomer polymerization degree of polymerization how molecular weight uh, will be what is functionality like that so now we move to classification of polymers first type of classification is based on origin or source natural polymers synthetic polymers semi synthetic polymers these are all based on the source or nature okay nature that is from where uh, the source or origin is polymers are broadly classified into these three types natural polymers synthetic polymers semi synthetic polymers natural polymers obviously the polymers which occur in nature for example plants animals polymers from this type of uh, nature plants animals are called natural polymers example we have starch cellulose proteins natural rubber cotton wool silk clay silicates etc okay so these are all some of the examples of natural polymers okay source is from nature synthetic polymers or is also called man made polymers which are prepared in the laboratory the polymers which are prepared in the laboratory are called synthetic polymers example polyvinyl chloride pvc polyethylene synthetic rubber silicones nylon 6.6 etc so obviously we have some more this is not the end of end list there is a take light okay resins urea formaldehyde this is urea formaldehyde resin there are other resins like melamine formaldehyde resins like etc so there are a lot of some of these are some of the examples only semi synthetic polymers combination of both one and two natural polymers and synthetic some are uh, some the combination of these two one and two we call it as semi synthetic polymers cellulose derivatives cellulose acetate rayon okay cellulose is a natural polymer whereas cellulose acetate we call it as rayon is a semi synthetic next type of classification two based on the structure classification on the basis of structure of polymers polymers can be broadly classified based on their structures like linear polymers branched chain polymers cross linked polymers linear polymers it comprises of long and straight chains uh of course long and linear straight chain so we call it as linear or straight chain polymers like this okay, this is the representation example high density polyethylene is a example of linear polymers branched chain polymers okay polymers comprising of linear chains with the branches are called branched chain polymers example low density polyethylene this is a chain this is a linear and then these are all branches okay. 
So this is the representation of branched chain polymers. Cross-linked polymers is another type. Polymers in which various individual chains are connected together by bifunctional or trifunctional, bifunctional and or trifunctional monomers with the addition additional functionality producing the cross links. For example, these are all cross links. So this is the chain and they are cross linked with additional functionalities. This is a representation of uh, cross linked. Normally they will be 3D in nature. They, all the three dimensions they will have cross linking. Okay. So bake light is an example of cross linked polymers. Normally we will see later they are all comes under thermo sets. Next, third type of classification which is based on nature of monomers. Their polymers are classified as homopolymers or copolymers. If polymer is comprised of only one type of monomer, we call it as homopolymers, polythene, polyvinyl chloride, nylon 6, etc. This can be represented as A is the only type of monomer in this polymers or we can also represent it like this. Copolymers, second. Polymers which are comprising of more than one type of monomers, two, three like that are called copolymers. Nylon 6, 6, terylene, styrene, butadiene, rubber, etc. These are all example of copolymers where more than one, two or more monomers are involved in the polymerization reaction. Further copolymers have been classified into four types based on the basis of relative arrangement of monomer units with respect to each other. Alternate copolymers, obviously the name itself says the two monomers A and B are alternatively arranged like this. which is represented in this way. Next, block copolymers. Again, the name itself is suggesting first one block of A and then another block of B isomer, then another A block and then B like that. Block copolymers. The two different monomers A and B are arranged in the blocks. Next, grafted, graft copolymer. This is BBB, AAA, BBB. How it will be like? They are like, there will be a chain of AAA. Okay. Chain of AAA monomer. And then this is by grafted by B, okay, another monomer, okay. So this type of branching, which is, uh, we call it grafted by another monomer in the main uh, chain, we call it as grafted, graft copolymers, okay. Random copolymers, A and B, two monomers are randomly arranged. So this is how copolymers are also classified based on their arrangements. The next classification four based on intermolecular forces. Based on intermolecular forces, they are polymers can be elastomers, okay? fibers, thermoplastics, thermosetting plastics. Okay? First, elastomers. Polymers in which intermolecular forces are very weak. Van der Waals forces are called elastomers. Okay. Example, rubber. Fibrous, fiber, fiber polymers. Okay. Polymers in which polymers in which intermolecular forces are very strong. We call it as fibers. 
very strong means it can be hydrogen bond or dipole dipole interaction in fibers these are strong tough fibers are strong tough and high tensile strength resistant to break under tension that is called tensile strength it resists to break under tension so these are all comes under fibers nylon sterilin etc example of fibrous fiber polymers fiber polymers so they have relatively strong intermolecular forces than the first elastomers there thermoplastics polymers and thermo setting polymers thermoplast or you can also say thermoplastics polymers thermoplasts or polymers in which intermolecular forces are intermediate okay this polymers on heating become soft and on cooling again it comes become hard and retain their original shape so this is purely a physical change that is on heating expands uh, like become soft and then on cooling comes back to original hard shape this is purely physical change okay physical changes are generally reversible so therefore this polymers are reversible recyclable that means they can be molded and remolded again and again example linear polymers like polyethylene pvc polystyrene etc okay so they can be remolded again and again and also they can be recyclable okay thermo setting polymers or thermo sets polymers in which extensive cross linking are present okay they become soft on heating and on cooling again become hard but do not retain their original shape because they are linked they are cross linked and they cannot they, they won't come back to the original shape it is purely a chemical change and hence chemical changes are generally irreversible so these polymers are not recyclable once molded they cannot be molded again they are permanently set that's why it is called thermo set okay this polymers greatly improve the materials mechanical properties bakelite epoxy resins many types of resins etc is a example of thermo sets next uh, type number 5 classification type 5 based on polymerization reaction how a polymerization reaction occurs in the formation of polymers so we know that polymerization is a process in which large number of small molecules called monomers combine to give a big molecule called polymer with or without elimination of small molecules of small molecules like water ammonia etc so it also be defined as a fundamental process where the low molecular weight compounds converted to high molecular high molecular weight compounds and the process is called polymerization so it can also be uh, defined in terms of molecular weight monomer low molecular weight polymers higher high molecular weight okay polymerization reaction types types of polymerization reaction polymerization reactions may be carried out by uh any one of the following method addition or chain growth polymerization condensation or step growth or step wise polymerization third is copolymerization step wise or we can also say step growth polymerization this is chain growth addition okay. copolymerization again it will be like addition polymerization but the monomer used of two different not one if only one monomer is used we, we call directly as addition if two monomers are used and it is following the same uh, two monomers are combined in the form of additional polymerization 
to form a polymer. We call that as a copolymer. So polymerization is copolymerization. Examples: addition or chain growth polymerization or chain polymerization. We can say. We will see what it is and then examples. First, addition or chain polymerization or chain growth polymerization. Addition polymerizations are formed by adding monomers units without any loss of atoms or groups. Just addition. It yields a polymer which are exact multiple of the original monomeric molecules. Okay. The original that means there is no loss. Only bonds are changed. There is no loss in atoms or any group of atoms. The original monomeric molecule usually contains one or more double bond and saturation, which is not there in the. For example, we will see the examples. Uh, original monomeric molecule usually contains one or more double bonds. We say vinylic compounds. What is vinyl CH double bond? CH2 double bond, CH CL. This is vinyl chloride. This double bond type. One at least one double bond. Okay. So these are all some vinylic double bond containing monomers uh, polymerized to linear. Chain polymers. We will see as examples. Ethylene. We have already seen this. Okay. Ethylene to polyethylene. This is vinyl chloride to polyvinyl chloride (PVC). Okay, important polymer. Acrylonitrile to polyacrylonitrile. So the common thing in all these monomers is double bond, like ethylene. Okay. So this is the major requirement for addition polymerization. Next, condensation polymerization. Polymers condensation polymerization reaction. Polymers formed from the functional group of monomers with or without the elimination of small sorry with the elimination not without elimination with the elimination of with the elimination of small without means it is. Addition with means it is with the elimination means condensation H2O HCl etc. And with formation of new functional groups are known as condensation polymerization. Two different polymer uh, functional groups in the monomer will bring another new functional group like that. We will see example. Nylon six comma six hexamethylene diamine adipic acid. The other two monomers they condense to form a polymer nylon six comma six, which is a polyamide. Okay. So this is adipic acid. There are six carbons. This is hexamethylene diamine. Six carbons. So they both condense to form a nylon. Six comma six. Why this is six comma six? Because of six carbons in both the monomers. Okay, that's why we call it as six comma six. What is the new functional group form? Amide. C double bond O N H. This is the amide. Poly amide. Okay. So this is also. Uh, present in proteins. Okay, C double bond O N H. We we call it as peptide bonds. Okay, also called peptide bonds. This is formed from N H two and C O O H in the monomer. Okay. Another example: ethylene glycol plus terephthalic acid forms this type of. Condensation reaction, obviously, okay, plus two N H two O to give terylene or decron. It's also called polyterephthalate. Polyterephthalate or terylene 
or Dacron. Dacron is the brand name. Terylene or polyterithalate. 2N H2O obviously. This is condensed. Water molecules are condensed here. Like this H and OH will get condensed. Similarly, this OH with another H from ethylene glycol. So that's why this type of structure is, sterile structure is formed. So these are all the examples of condensation polymers where two monomers condensed with the elimination of small molecules like water to form the polymer. Okay, okay. so with this uh, we will finish this uh, video and we will continue seeing copolymerization under the polymerization type of classification in the next video. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.